So myself, Dr. Prajwal Ravi Shankar Dikshit. Myself, Dr. Aditya Nagapurkar. Myself, Dr. Samwad Karkikar. So uh, we are just going to share our journey from uh, being a 12th class graduate to being actual doctors. It all started actually when we came to uh, transfer like a care in Pune. Uh, for me, my father's friend, Mr. Girish Karmarkar, he suggested this place. He knew Dr. David Pillai very well from uh, the start. So he suggested it to me actually. Uh, I was, to be honest, my journey started as not being able to get a seat uh, in India. I just missed my uh, seat by 20 marks and I was really frustrated and I, and I thought that I couldn't become a doctor. Uh, it was Dr. David Pillai who gave me the opportunity to come over here in Philippines and uh, you know uh, make sure that I reach my actual caliber. I came to Philippines, I uh, gave the NMAT exam, I got a really good score over there, I got 99 plus in that exam. My friend circle was also very good, we used to study together from the start, we enjoyed also a lot in Philippines and it was a great journey overall. We decided to join King's Academy in Chennai for uh, our studies for the FMG exam and we, we were taught really well, the doctors all were really good. Also, I would like to mention that in Philippines, uh, during the COVID time also, uh, even when we were at home, we were doing online studies for uh, some time, but still the teachers gave their full efforts we also kept on pushing ourselves forward and in the end, in the FMG, we all uh, got a good rank. We passed in the first attempt. I got a rank, I got a mark, I got the marks of 194. So I am a really proud student of DMSF and I am proud to say that I am Dr. Aditya Nagabukar. Well, speaking of my journey, as Aditya already mentioned, even I was uh, drop, I, I had taken a drop year after my first attempt in NEET, then uh, even uh, even in my second attempt, I was not able to score very well and I didn't get any seat in India. So I was really frustrated with my life and I thought I, I cannot do any better in my life further. I came to know about transfer and DMSF through Dr. Sudhanshu Baitule. He suggested me that Dr. David Pillai will give you an opportunity and you can start a new journey again and you can officially become a doctor in India. I met with these wonderful doctors <laughs> in this journey. And Dr. Aditya and Dr. Samad helped me really very well during my hard times and we actually studied together and also in Kings we were together and uh, as a group we studied and we pushed each other uh, harder one step further and uh, that's how we cleared our FMG. So I got a score of 160 and I'm, I can proudly say I am Dr. Prajwal Dikshit. Starting with my journey it was uh, my senior who named Dr. Siddhishwar Latta. Right now, I think he's doing the PG. He introduced me with the transfer and even I had the say, I had to take the dropout after the 12th because I didn't score well in NEET. And all my classmates were, had took an admission with some kind of other ways in medicine, but I was left behind. So I was, I was also frustrated, but uh, then I got the opportunity to study abroad for the MBS and I chose transfer. The overall journey in Philippines was great, uh, the, starting with the VS, then NMAT and uh, the med MD medicine four years, they were all adventurous actually I will say and with these two and my other friends were not here yet but uh, that, the journey was very good and then at the last step we graduated and we joined the King's International Medical Academy, the faculty was great, we studied together, these friends were like uh, were there with me to study and I just, I don't know how but I uh, I was totally depressed because I, I was not sure I will score more than uh, one fifty. I was totally <laughs> depressed for that time but fortunately I scored good and I passed the FMG first attempt and my friends also my the King's Academy faculty all they helped me very well in this part of FMG and I can probably say I scored 175 marks in first attempt and right now I have a licensed doctor in Philippines, uh, in Philippines also and in India also. Yes. Good, congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> so right now I am just proud of myself. So basically from not getting a seat in India, 
actually being a doctor and again getting into the system this has been a very good big journey for us and definitely and this we have to give credit to david sir because david. this opportunity was only given by him to yes he really tried his best to bring the best faculty in kings so we got mentors like dr siraj ahmed and dr marwa who really guided us very well along our journey okay. even the environment was there in kings it just like i can do was like Okay, you just have to focus on study yourself. That's it. We will take care of all of the rest things. Food, there. everything was yeah. provided. Food and and uh, uh, hostel was also good over there. Even the faculty was also good because th- their guidance was a crucial point. I would say that uh, helped us to get the marks enough to pass. Even in the last two days when we were tensed, uh, yes. there was a doctor Ashwini Ranjan yeah, sir. Yes. I would like to specially mention him also. he gave us a video call for all the students to boost our confidence so which was actually very crucial because now we think it is a normal thing but at that moment of time we were all very tense and we needed a sub someone senior support at that time which he you know he was always happy to provide to us so we are really thankful for him also yeah also we would like to thank dr uh, mr uh, suresh sanak sir Oh, yes, yes. Who really, <laughs> who really took care of our visas, and we were never bothered in our life to see to look for any other documentation process. True, true. Yeah, because it was he he made it really very easy and smooth for us. Actually, for my parents also, they wanted to attend my graduation, and Sir uh, Suresh Sanak, he only you know managed all our visas. Yes. For my parents was on time, so that they could attend the graduation. Yes. Yeah. So, and Sanusar knows every each and every student. Each like, and every true, true, true. from previous batches till now. Yes, yes. So really, thank you very much, Sanusar. Sanusar so, so, and all the support staff. All the support staff. Yes, yes. Really, really. Special thank you to uh, Stephen sir also. Yes, yes. <laughs> special <laughs> thanks to all our wardens who really took care of us when we were we were in Pune. So yes. they really made our life very disciplined. So it was very <laughs> easy to follow for us. that life in dawa true so, yeah that is very true but uh, after all this journey in philippines i will really uh, before i didn't agree on that uh, the term that dawa uses the dawa the life is here but at the end i totally agree, i yes. totally have yes. agree that the dawa life is here definitely so yeah i think that's all from us yes. so thank you just yeah. one one thing i would like to say if we can you too can look at and we are proud doctors from dms yes, yes.